filming in three, two, and one. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're in for an exciting experiment this evening, but before we get to the meat and potatoes of that, I want to introduce you to my lovely partner, Bonnie Woodruff. Uh, Bonnie Woodruff is a psychic medium, very gifted tarot reader, a practicing occultist, and has had a lot of experience with paranormal investigation. And as a result, Bonnie likes to collect a lot of interesting things, which belong to serial killers, ironically, mainly because she's also interested in true crime, right? It's funny how these interests collide mm -hmm. but yeah um, and me myself I'm always looking to sort of push the envelope into how we can use magic ritual process and employ spirits to work for us rather than against us in a way that is harmonious well, Bonnie has a letter, a letter from what was written by Richard Ramirez. Richard Ramirez was a, the Night Stalker. Very interesting gentleman, uh, definitely involved in early Satanism as it was available in his time. But she also has a picture which he drew. And these are items that belong to him. So we are going to try and anchor his presence into the spirit box we have created. Now when you draw, when you put your hand, your penmanship, your thought into whatever it is your art exactly. is, is you're putting your very essence. Best way to exactly. do something that, especially if somebody's not here with us any longer. Right. Yes, uh, in case you guys didn't hear because of the audio, because of the mic, as Bonnie just stated, when you draw something like this, okay, your energy, your intent is locked into it. And so when the person is gone, a physical anchor for their presence and their consciousness now I will say that we had the ghost box on already and the name Richard was called out what twice I heard it once and I was like you know for sure I mean as a do you hear that you know yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so what I want to do is actually read this letter for you the best that I can I don't know how good his penmanship was actually it was quite yeah, awesome. Um, it was most, like, some people would think would write all scattered. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. Okay. His presence is already here. I'm going to read the letter, and then we're going to get into <laughs> the actual <laughs> session. It's been here for a while, uh, guys. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting, but we're not going to shift it. It's just not a great idea. Tell him. Uh, the candles were anointed with um, cemetery oil. Uh, now, we also utilize necromancy dirt and dress them with that as well. This is going to help bring forth the will and intent of bringing forth the dead. Um, Santa Muerte, who is on this statue, on this altar, was anointed with the same material. Um, the spirit box itself has a lot of satanic, satanic imagery, um, a small dagger resting on a skeleton statue who is praying, their lap, um, a bullet, which is a sort of pendulum, and it's also going to be a place to hold his letters or his drawing and house his consciousness. 
The goal is to see if he can be employed in baneful operations of magic, you see. If he finds this spirit box as something that is acceptable to him, and he is fed, will he perform tasks of baneful magic if needed, right? Now, of course, that's an if needed thing. As I've always said, there's a time and a place for baneful magic. But we're going to also get into this Ouija board session. But before I read the letter and before I do that, I also want to say that I have never had much success with the Ouija board. With Bonnie's suggestion, we have done things by essentially removing my sense of hearing, my sense of sight. Even a gas mask is placed over me. Why people are doing that, I don't know, but I will say this, it tends to regulate my breathing and it helps to get me into a trance state that is conducive to allowing the spiritual essence to move through me and get the planchette moving without my conscious analytical mind getting in the way. So that's how we're going to set up that operation. Um, but, okay. Now, who is this letter to? Um, I wouldn't have the name, but um, we'll call her um, Miss M. Miss M. Or, yeah. We'll call her Miss M, which was a girlfriend that he was writing to. He had a lot of groupies. He had a lot of groupies. Yeah. There was a lot of women that wanted to sleep with this guy after he was arrested for these heinous crimes. That's what's crazy. He was actually featured in uh, American Horror Story. What was... Actually, um... <laughs> um he, like, I think the one of the last ones. I can't remember. Yeah, it was the last... One of the last ones, regardless. We will not state the name of this individual, but it says, thank you for the nice card and pictures. You look great. They were the four black and white photos you sent the lyrics to Iron Maiden's song, Revelations. They were excellent. I read the story you wrote. I really liked it. You have talent. If you could live in what time period would it be? Hmm. You could choose your time period. Yeah. The 60s were good. Ever seen American Graffiti? It's a movie that takes place in that time period. When did you first hear of me? Do you want to marry and have kids someday? What do you think is life's greatest gift? I think it's music and sex. Do you like to watch wrestling matches? Must have, ah, that's why he drew wrestlers. Interesting. Which is your favorite sport? I love girls gymnastics and girls beach volleyball. How tall are you? What could you teach me in bed? I feel this energy is building. Man. At what age did you realize what sex was? Ever been to a nude beach? There's a lot of them in Florida. At what age did you start to masturbate? I was nine. Wow. I was reading a porn paperback. Ha. Huh. Do you wear thong briefs or panties? Do you like wrestling masks? Send pics of you sucking on a bottle. Make them sideways. Ever keep a journal of your day-to-day -day events? If so, send me copies, copy pages. What was primmy school like for you? Ever have slumber parties? Did you like doing homework? What's the best concert you've been to? <laughs> if you could meet any person, who would it be? What types of jobs have you had? I had one 
at the park, checking baseball fields for little league games. Also had one at a warehouse driving a forklift. Do you carry a purse? If so, tell me five items in it. That's all for now. Best wishes always. Your friend, Richard. Drawing enclosed. Wow. <laughs> there is lots of questions. <laughs> I mean, his presence was already called upon. So I almost feel a bit of nausea, but there's energy in my throat chakra. I feel like I can almost channel. I'm going to avoid that though because we want to set up for this Ouija board operation and uh, get that done. Mm -hmm. You already mentioned some things that were coming there, and yeah. we're going to make the sculpting come like a vessel. Um, like so. Yeah, we went over that one. Okay. Are you ready? Yep, let's do this. what I do uh, to prepare and I would suggest it for anybody that has a hard time connecting this kind of just it can get us in um, more calm be now some people for him it would distract him but for some people binary beats are great you can use boost frequency um, let me see yeah so the next thing I do This is, this has, you know, it slows down breathing. It's a respirator, like for spray painting and such. swap out mic and because I'll be asking questions and <laughs> he's going to sound kind of odd for a minute but that's cool. All right. Are you comfortable? Yep. All right. Now you want to take away sight. Um, you can go 
a little bit of extra route if you would like and put a lot of people will cut a um, what's it called ping pong table ball in half and put them over the ice and then put the blindfold on it just um, kind of makes more of a that scrying surface to connect And it seems like he's already reacting to everything we were already doing, so I'm not going to stop everything. All right, would you like to do the um, ghost box first while we do the Ouija session? Yes? Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to turn on the SP7 spirit box. questions first one before just in case all right all right to the spirits that have crossed the face of the living I'm calling to one Richard Ramirez El Paso, Texas, also known as the Night Stalker. Yes, yes. What was it that you held on your hand so that I know that I'm connecting with the right spirit? What did you draw on your hand in court that is iconic? P. G. G. 
are. Okay. M, how long have you been waiting for me? I know you've given me this idea. All right, you have to step back, don't you? Please step back. That's a lot of energy. Oh, oh. Are you sure? All right. All right. How long have you been waiting for me to do this? I know you've given me this idea a while. How long have you been waiting for me to do this? Five. Why? Or five years? Yes. Oh, I got you, homie. Alright. What's going on? What are you doing to Curtis right now? Can you please tell me on the board what you're doing? Explain it without him having to. Okay. Okay. Are you talking about my dog? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I heard it. I like dogs. You like dogs. Well, I bet he would like you to pet him. You're more than welcome to. to get through to other witches. Yes. Why has no one else tried this? Yeah. Oh, my heart's racing. Yeah. This. <laughs> See? Oh, scared. Are you saying scared? Yes. Well, I can understand that. I mean, this would be considered necromancy, though. Yes. Um, which, this, the um, speed on the response is also changing. Is that you? Okay. How long have you been building? You built up energy, obviously. Yes. Okay. So you know. Okay. I'm going to get it right to it. We're grown here. We were the cultists, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, they don't <laughs> oh like this. Oh. Um, would you be willing for, if we give you your own box, or, you know, if you would like to call it a spirit vessel, a vessel um, to use, which is the already added red wax um, for this candle, um, with um, the second, um, we have the pentagram. In the background, we also have the goat, you want letters to add your essence. You see what's in there. You like it. Is it does it make you happy? Enjoy it? Yes. So would you be willing to use that as a vessel? And could we offer you things to perform painful magic. To perform painful magic. Yes. Like, so we're good. Yes. Okay. Um, do you have anything you ask of us? Um, and look, don't ask it. We are not going to harm humans. Not, not in the same way you did. I just asked about you. But I, I mean, I remember six. Um, yes. What 
would you like from us? Okay. Ooh, this energy's crazy. It's, what would you like and ask of us? R? A? If you say, no, don't say that. If you're saying right, no. What oh. offering do you H. want? A, okay, the red light turned on. H, A, ha ha, he's laughing about the red. He's in fucking with you. <laughs> you like specific beer? How about cigarettes? Marijuana? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you like some bourbon? You want shroom? Something you want? Not that I can keep them in the house legally. <laughs> Yes, okay. So just feel good stuff, like you want, what is it, and they call them, um, in, 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 in prison, they call it rash, you like, noodles. All right, we got that. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to close this out. Um, we'll talk to you more soon, Richard. Well, I thank you very much for your presence. All right, thank you. Peace out, dude. We'll play you some music tonight. Goodbye. I am sorry. See you on the face. Turn that off. <laughs> All right, guys. Hang on. I'm going to give you back here to them in just a sec. Oh. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> right? It's a lot, huh? Sorry, wait, this is also precaution. Just because. Anyway, um, yeah, that was intense, man. I, the fucking current is powerful. I'm fucked up right now. I gotta end this. Um, I'm gonna have to get some salt in my pockets. I think intuitively what's gonna happen is we're gonna put some black salt on the right side to project the negativity out of us. Left salt, or I'm sorry, white salt on the left side to draw in the purification because I am currently not untainted. Um, I don't know what happened on the board. You experienced shadows? I could see shadows behind me. The red light turned on and off several times. Um, um, so, something at one point, and I think I kind of made a little oof, um, touched my hand. Um, I felt like just a, it wasn't real aggressive, but it was indeed. Now, what happened at the end? It was like the planchette just shot it. Shot, I had to pull it. No, I oh. had to physically say okay. bye because he wasn't really ready to go. And the light came on and off. Mm -hmm. Did the EVPs or the ghost say, box rather? I was trying to pay attention because he was spilling on that, causing this to go off, but there were some straight, and I'm sure anybody that listens back. If you hear it, I would say, suggest, tell us what you heard. And yeah. like timestamp it because those things are right. always very, um, they help us. I mean, it's like, it's, it, and it's fun too because right. it might have made sense to something I've missed. Um, exactly. Usually that's why I'll have extra people, one person writing down um, things. Sorry, puppy just walked by <laughs> that did start. Um, one thing I did notice. I was shocked. It was going straight, and I barely had my fingers on it. it. Was I was trying just to help him as connect, and it was going straight to the correct letter, like that. Um, and that's funny, is I had never I had told him about this idea, um, but it's one I've had and I've been chewing on it for a while because I'm going, you know, that's a lot. 
Um, yeah. And I finally mentioned, and he's like, yeah. you know, and it's just the right time. So it's like, he, I feel like he's been ready. And I think that's why he jumped in, like right behind you and ready to go. Like, why are we still effing around, you know? Right. Yeah, so this spirit box, which was created for him, um, his personal items will be placed in it to anchor his consciousness to that box. And when he needs to be employed, we will make offerings to him. We'll keep him fed, keep him strong anyway, and develop a good, harmonious working relationship, hopefully. But these are experiments, right? However, I did not feel anything threatening. It's just a lot. Like, Quick. the energy on the board was intense, but that was coming from me, from my physical body. And there was moments where I was shaking from his presence. He's As the one who quick. read the note, I think, it brought his consciousness into me. But yeah, I got to uh, get cleansed here a little more effectively. But wow, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section below. Excuse me. <laughs> like, subscribe if you want any information on me. It can be found in the link tree within the description box. And as Bonnie suggested, if you hear anything from the ghost box, or let us know. Anything, yeah. Let us know where it's at, and we'll timestamp it below. All right, until next time, sign it now. Holy shit. You all right?